So you had the had the successful first year in the G League last year. What was the process like? Did you know that you were going to be sent to the Grizzlies hustle before it happened, or was it a surprise for you last week? It was, a, it was definitely a surprise for me. Um, I got a, a phone call from my junior college coach. Uh, that's why I met Coach Sip at when I was in junior college down in uh, Baytown, Texas. Uh, he gave me a phone call, maybe like a heads up, maybe like an hour before I got the call from the Nets uh, telling me to uh, He's, he heard some info that uh, might be traded soon, or he didn't really know for sure. It was just an up in the air. But uh, uh, Coach Matt, I mean Matt from the Nets, Long Island Nets, the assistant GM, he called me within like an hour later, letting me know um, uh, that they didn't want to give me up. And um, but I guess the the offer was something that they couldn't turn down. So he thanked me for everything I've done uh, in Long Island for the season last season, and I was here in the next two days. So you were. Long Island's kind of close, close to home for you, yeah. right? But obviously you've got this track record here in Memphis. What was the reaction like for you? Uh, honestly, I was excited, you know, um, to be able to come back down here. You know, it's like it's like my second home down here. You know, I get I get a lot of love, and um, I feel good when I be when I come down here. So, um, you know, I was really excited to know that I would be traded, you know, to Memphis, and especially when I knew Austin was on the team. So, you know, it, it gave me a, even a little more, you know, motivation, a little more high-spirited. Coach Sip says that he's excited about what you offer offensively. He wants you to make a transition and make a step as a two-way player. Is that kind of the, the talk he's had with you? And, and how do you envision the next step for you here at this professional level? Yeah, since me and Coach, been, Coach Sip been talking, this has been about you know the next level. You know, it's not, it's not really about what I'm doing now. It's about you know improving my game and you know getting getting to spots on the court that I need to be at, at the right time and stuff like that so you know I think coach Sip me and him we have a, a good bond too I knew coach Sip for some years now not just you know off the court you know we, we've talked a lot you know before he was even coaching here so I think uh me and him together would be you know it's, I think it's good you know good for both of us because you know he, he could definitely teach me a lot of things that I need to know with him being there so I think it's a good process. You've been in the league now. This is this is your second year in the league, right? Yes, and sir. it's like uh, so you're like a, a, a an older head, somebody yeah. that knows knows the ropes a little bit, a, a little bit about the competition that fans will see in the G League oh, yeah. in the G League now. You know, uh, when I first uh, got drafted, you know, I didn't think um, that it would be uh, as competitive as it is. But uh, you know, as the game go, as the games go on and the season gets longer, you know, it's, it's really competitive because you play against guys that you've heard before. Or you know, when I was in college, uh, I, was, I had a, I played, I seen, I worked out with Marcus Story. You know, I watched him play for a long time. So you know, it's just like. It's just a, a good experience, you know, an eye opener, and you just get to play. It's definitely great competition, though. I don't think uh, you could say it's not good competition. Mm -hmm. There's some talk that you might uh, be in the slam dunk competition this year. You think you might go for it? Uh, you know, last year it was kind of like short notice. You know, I guess somebody dropped out and they just so happened to pick me up. So I, was, I wasn't really ready for it then. But yeah, this time if I come back around, I'll be ready. I have I have some dunks for him this time. <laughs> Is it necessarily the guys with the best raw talent that get the call ups? From the now the G League, or is it more guys? They got talent, but they've kind of figured out how to be that cog in the wheel. Because when you get called up, obviously you're, yeah. you know, you're going to be a second unit kind of guy. Yeah, I think it's more of you know, you know, timing. You know where you're at and the team that you're on, and um, like you like you said, uh, raw talent. I don't, I don't, I don't think uh, raw talent may because I had a guy on my team like Prince Ebay. He was kind of raw and. You know that the Nets stuck around with them, so if they, I feel like if they see potential in you, then you, you definitely have a chance. But um, like you said, you're gonna be like on the second string, so you gotta come in and do things that guys don't want to do, uh, guys that's already there. So you know, um, it's just about working hard and, and being dedicated to, to to what you love to do, and this is what I love to do. So I'm trying to make strides to get to the next level. Is there anybody at that next level that you look at and say that that's what I would look like? That's what I'd be, you know, I would be I, I, like when I got it all together. For a long time, I've been here about World Bar, and, I, and I've watched, you know, and I've followed him since uh, he's been here. So, you know, uh, I think he's a good, you know, I've been following him for a long time. So I think he's someone that I can, you know, try to transfer my game like, because, you know, he's an NBA player. He's been in the league for some years now, and I, I really like that. What about life in the G League? How tough are those bus rides? Oh, man, you know. Us, I mean, us last year at Long Island, you know, we were a first year, you know, we stayed, we had a wonderful living, where we lived was great, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, the bus rides, even the plane rides, uh, one time we had to like sleep in the airport because, you know, our plane was like delayed and from Canton and all them Rio, Viper, you know, just places like that. It gets, it gets a little hectic when you go places like that. But, um, you know, it's, it's tough. It's a grind, you know, you're in, the G, you're in the G League and you know, like, 
you're trying to get to the next step so you don't really let it affect you you know if, once it start affecting you then it's like you're here for the wrong reason so you know it's a, it's a little it's a little more of a grind like it felt like college for a little bit after a while but um after a while you just get used to it you just you just keep when you uh, now that you're here and, and, and playing with the team was there any thought about maybe going overseas you know because money is money yeah. but uh, it seems like there might be better with this new the way that the G League is set up a better road to try to get to the big league. Yeah, I had a my I was been talking to my agent a lot. I had a couple offers overseas, you know, um, that I could have went to, but like you said, uh, it's getting better. You know, the G League is getting better. You know, they're offering more money and they're offering more opportunities for guys to get a chance to make it to the NBA. So you know, uh, last year was my first year. You know, I'm still trying to chase my dream. Uh, you know, of becoming an NBA player. So. Overseas was definitely an option for me at the beginning of the season, but um, after a while, I was just thinking, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, keep trying to chase my dream. And if it does, if this doesn't work out for me, maybe this year I'll, I'll probably head over there. But uh, I have all intentions on, you know, staying staying here. How much Tiger Blue do you think you and Austin can get into the Lander Center down there? Man, uh, I hope we can get a lot of it. You know, uh, me and Austin, uh, I love playing Austin. Uh, he's a great guy. You know, he was there for me a lot uh, my first year at Memphis. And he taught me a lot, too, you know, because, um, you know, he was a you know, big-time guy. So, you know, we, we, we both trying to bounce back. You know, we both trying to get somewhere, and uh, we both we going to push each other and motivate each other. And, you know, we try to hope, hope the city, uh, you know, supports us. You guys feel like a couple old men now? Yeah, yeah, we do feel <laughs> a little older now.